we want to write the polar equation r equals four cosine theta in rectangular form. Notice the polar equation contains r and theta, and an equation in rectangular form must only contain x's and y's. So to do this, we'll use these equations here that relate polar and rectangular coordinates. So if we start with r equals four cosine theta, let's first perform a substitution for a cosine theta. Looking at this equation here, if we were to divide both sides of the equation by r, we would have cosine theta is equal to x over r. So we'll use this to perform a substitution for cosine theta. This would give us r equals four times x over r, which we can write as r equals four x over r. And now, if we multiply both sides of the equation by r, notice how we would have r squared equals four x. And now we need to perform a substitution for r squared, and r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. So we can substitute x squared plus y squared for r squared, so we'd have x squared plus y squared equals four x. This would be the polar equation in rectangular form. However, since we can see from the graph that it is a circle, let's go ahead and write this rectangular equation in the standard form of a circle. So to do this, we'll subtract four x on both sides of the equation. That would give us x squared minus four x plus y squared equals zero. And now we're going to complete the square on the x part of this equation. So we'll have x squared minus four x plus some special number to complete the square plus y squared equals zero. Remember to complete the square here, we take half of negative four and then we square it. Well half of negative four is negative two and negative two squared is positive four. So we're going to add four to both sides of the equation. And now the reason we're going to do this is now x squared minus four x plus four is a perfect square. If we factor this, we'll have two factors of x minus two, or the quantity x minus two squared. Then we'll have plus y squared equals four. This would be the same rectangular equation, but now written in standard form of a circle. So when the equation is written in this form, we can tell the center of the circle would be the point two zero. And r squared is equal to four, so r is equal to two. So notice looking at the graph, the center of the circle is at the point two zero, and the radius of the circle is equal to two units. So this is one advantage to writing the equation of the circle in standard form. But again, if we're only asked to convert the polar equation to a rectangular equation, either of these forms would be correct. I hope you found this helpful.